We've talked in previous videos about the conservation of momentum. But have we talked about the conservation of angular momentum? When an object is rotating, there is a conservation of angular momentum. Angular momentum is equal to the mass of an object multiplied by its velocity, its linear velocity, and multiplied by r. And r is the radius of its path, and it's the distance between the center of rotation and the center of the object. Now, keep in mind that this product will be the same during any kind of rotation. Now, assuming there is no external force acting on the object. And so, P is equal to M times V times R. I consider you to think how the radius, or how, excuse me, how the velocity is going to change when the radius is changed. And so, if, for example, I'm having my arm right over here, and I'm rotating this ball, what happens if I actually reduce the size of R right over here? Will anything happen to the velocity of the ball? Will it increase or will it decrease? The answer is, since this quantity is the same, there has to be some counteracting. When the radius is decreased, the velocity will counteract the decrease and increase in proportion to keep the angular momentum constant. Now, the same is true if we reverse, and so if the radius increases all of a sudden, the velocity of the object will decrease. And we need not forget the mass. If the mass increases, the velocity will immediately decrease.